Anyway, let's talk about NFL news. Well, how about uh, can we just talk about Boston all in one thing? Like, we're gonna t- can we touch on the NHL? Because let's face it, we're not a big NHL channel. Um, the Chicago, we're not a big it, Chicago so Blackhawks we'll won the Stanley Cup in a fucking very surprising, fantastic fashion. Two goals in what the last minute? I mean, George, did you see that game? Uh, I saw the highlights on ESPN. That's the only way I, I watch hockey. I, I, I was watching the game, thinking, "Oh wow, Boston!" I, you know, I happened to turn on the channel and. Uh, You know, they were going fucking nuts in Boston because there was about a little over a minute left. And the crowd, it just had erupted when they had a couple minutes early, they had scored a goal to go ahead. And I'm thinking, oh shit, game six. Now we're going to have a game seven in Chicago. And once they, with the Blackhawks pulled their goalie, goalie, it seemed like within 10 or 15 seconds, they had tied that shit up. Yeah, shit was retarded. It was, it just was fucking ridiculous. And it was just silence. Silence. That whole stadium was, and there were some Blackhawk fans there, obviously, cheering. And then, it seemed like seven seconds later, they scored another goal. And I'm like, did this shit just happen? Trust me, you, you want to know what else is happening in Boston? <laughs> Where motherfuckers else? are like, did this just happen? Yeah. Aaron Hernandez but, got picked up today on Wednesday. What's it, June 26th? He's gone. Yeah, that Bama's done. They picked that Bama up on murder charges. They are playing no games. The Patriots cut them. They, yeah, they. And you know what, man? It, it's, you know, rightfully so, dude. I mean... All this shit is so fucking shady, and I mean, obviously, they have—they're starting to really build a case. They had a lot of evidence, and they were just waiting, waiting, and you know, and that's how the feds do it, and in, 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 well, in the police department, law enforcement does it. They wait till well, they have everything they need to make a great case. First off, but Tyrone fucking Tyrone was retarded. First off, you destroyed. Okay. Let, let me let me put this together for you real quick from the grimy mind of George Bedford because this is what really? I'm thinking, and obviously this cat is strictly impulse because he shot one right. dude after being at a strip club. I've never understood getting a fight in, after or like within two days of being at or getting ready to go to a strip club. Your mind should strictly be on pussy. This dude had a gun right. and supposedly shot someone. All right, so there he's retarded. We already get that. But if I'm right. gonna do something grimy and I'm this cat mm-hmm. and I have all this money, first off, you buy a fucking run down car out of state right. so you get used license plates for three g's you go pick right. up the dude if you want to do it yourself you get yourself a gun that's not yours or you get someone I mean, else to buy it you shoot the dude you throw the fucking gun in the river you put the body in the car and you drive it into the river or you burn them separately then you take your cell phone throw that motherfucker in the sewer and go I had to buy a new cell phone. But you you know what, George? That's the thing. When it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and when all the details start to come out, and when it does go to trial, which will be five years from now, who the fuck knows? But, uh, I mean, it, it, you'll see everything, and, and we'll see what happened, what ha- led up to that point, and more things will break. And you'll see, w- were they fucked up? Was there a fight? Was something happened? Did somebody witness something? We don't fucking know anything. We know so he's we a don't goddamn know why idiot. He acted so- yeah, and you know what? He's 23 years old. He's he's young. He's fucking, if he was fucked up and drunk, he might have done something erratic or fucking he could have been act. We don't know shit. Well, why was he in a all rental? These- huh? All that money that dude, why were they in a rental car? I have no fucking idea. And then he left the rental I'm- car that's in his name a couple feet away from the dead body and did all this dirt a mile from his house. With yeah. The old saying now, I mean, is you don't it, it, shit where you eat. This motherfucker dropped his drawers and fucking diarrhea all around the place he ate. He's retarded. It is, just, it is just crazy what happens. I mean, you're going to have to find out more about this guy that was, you know, obviously, you know, the, the guy that was murdered and, and see what's going on. He seems like he was, from what everybody's saying, he seemed like he was a pretty clean guy. Like, he he wasn't involved in any shady shit. I mean, we don't know, but I, I mean, was, no, at least dude the first. Was, this dude's grimy. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we don't know. We got to wait to see that. I mean, I don't know what, I mean, what the first reports are indicating that, you know, obviously when we look at it, we think, okay, yeah, some shady about it. But right now, things are indicating that, yeah, you know, normal guy, Dayton, Dayton Hernandez's girlfriend's sister. So who knows what happened? Once they start questioning the girlfriends, okay, what was going on? There was some bad blood. Was something happened? Did anything cause Hernandez to do that? Was his drug related? There are so many things that are yet to be, you know, told. It's just going to be very interesting to see all this shit unravel, man. It's I'm telling a wrap. You. Yes. Now, speaking of, and, you know, in the NFL, George and I were talking before the cameras came on. The NFL is in a stance with Roger Goodell, who's the new fucking sheriff in town. He does not play. And and everybody, all these organizations, especially the Patriots organization, which has been squeaky clean and been like, just like, 
the epitome of fucking classiness. It wants to be. All but if you look at some of the people it's picked up, it picks up Tebow. Tebow's kind right. of eh. Gronkowski's partially retarded because he's out partying until all hours of the morning. And then you and go that's a th and you pick up Junior Seau, who obviously wasn't too mentally stable. I'm starting to question some of these personnel moves they're making. I mean, you know, I think there's a I mean, Tim Tebow is, you know, at the end of the day, Tim Tebow is, is going to be playing tight end. Said, you, huh? Yeah, he, but he, yeah, he, he'll be playing tight end now because they had two of the best tight ends. Well, in the world. They I, arguably at one time, you could have said they had, might have the two, two top five tight ends in the league. Here's, here's and my problem. Have none. Here, here's one of my what? problems with Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow is supposed to be the ultimate teammate. The, I want to do anything and everything I can to win. Ah! As long as I get to play quarterback, stop being selfish. Right. Here's your chance. Go play tight end. Show us what else you can do. Because let me tell you right now, don't be surprised if you do play tight end. If you get put in motion and they pitch you the ball and they ask you to throw it about nine yards, because anything past that you can't do. But that <laughs> that gives you another option. He's so never going to see quarterback at the Patriots. No, he's not. With not. Tom Brady. So why sign the yeah. contract? Yeah, but well, I think you know. At the end of the day, George, he's like, I'm getting a paycheck, and he can learn. I mean, obviously, you got you're sitting behind Tom Brady, one of the greatest of all time, and and Ryan Mallett, who's another great, just perfect, you know, pro set quarterback. I mean, you're you're looking at maybe you can learn something. Maybe he can be there a year or two, develop, and maybe. All of a sudden, he could go somewhere else, and they'd be like, look, you know, this guy's changed. I, I don't think it, but, you know, you just don't know. And maybe somebody they, somebody will want to pick him up, and he could be a second stringer somewhere. Kevin, Who knows? Kevin, can I tell you something? I know. I, well, I know. Let, what? Me, let me tell you something that's never going to happen. That entire scenario you just that, laid out. <laughs> that shit right, ain't not, never, you. ever going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, man. What's going to happen with this Browns linebacker that just got arrested? Browns rookie charged with attempted murder. What's going on with the fucking NFL, man? His name is A-U-S-A-R Walcott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he got cut, so it's been nice. See you, bye. See you, bye. No fight charges for Maurice Jones-Drew. No, and I don't, I mean, I, dude, these people, and uh, your boy Pac-Man Jones slapped the, <laughs> like, Maury Povich slapped the shit out of that bitch. Because everybody knows he's from the slap -a ho tribe, shorty. Dude, he slapped that, that Native American. Grandma. He knocked her dead on her ass. He's fucked up, dude. I, I, I'm telling you, I, that guy, <laughs> we don't know what and this happened. Is, this is where still, you and I are going to disagree because when that came out, a bunch of people jumped on Twitter, never hit a woman, blah, blah, blah. There, look, mm -hmm. if you don't, what, my mom always told me, keep your hands to yourself. That shit right. should go both ways. No woman should be able to him? hit a man any more than a man should be able to hit a woman. So keep your fucking hands to yourself and there won't be re any retaliation. Because to me, as soon as you hit a man in the face, you've obviously lost your fucking mind and you deserve whatever comes next. Oh, I've seen some girls lay out some fucking guys with bottles over their head, some fucked up shit, but I've seen some girls get dropped doing that dumb shit. Yeah, and, uh, I, just, what, did the girl hit him? Yes. She did? Yeah. I didn't even see is that it, part. Like I couldn't either, see. Either what, the what girl, happened? either the girl hit him, or no, I think she threw a bottle at him and hit him in the head. See, that's what some fucked up shit. And he like, just turned well, and you're smacked the piss out of her. And you know what? I'm sorry. If somebody smacked me with a bottle, I'm turning around, swinging first, asking questions second. I don't give a fuck who it, it is. It, it, you know what's funny? That's the that's when the first time I saw a girl just get dropped, just eyes roll back in her head. Was she took a beer bottle at a club down in Georgetown and cracked it over this guy's head? Because the, the guy was in an altercation with her boyfriend, and she just busted the fucking guy upside the head with the bottle, and the guy spun around and just dropped her. She if was your out man is getting snoring. his ass whipped, let him get his ass whipped, because more than likely he's yeah. getting fucked up because you mouthed off. You yeah, ran your and, mouth, and that's he's getting fucked up, just let him get fucked up, because when he gets up, he's probably going to fuck you up for getting him fucked up. Uh, Pretty much. Yep. And that's how that shit went down. <laughs> and I think that's the end of the show. Anyway, guys... <laughs> Thoughts, comments, all the bullshit below. We are out of here and we'll catch you guys next time. Later. Hasta mañana, motherfuckers.